In today's video, I have a huge book haul to show you guys. If you haven't heard about the book outlets, trust me, you have to watch this video. You can get books for all ages, activities, toys, and more for a fraction of the price. So if you want to see this huge book haul that I got from the book outlets and learn a little bit more of how you can get books, activities, toys for a fraction of the price, just keep on watching. My name is Regina, Gina for short, and welcome to Gina B Homeschool. I am a homeschool mom of three kids, and in today's video, I have a huge book haul to show you guys. Recently, I went on a little shopping spree at thebookoutlet.com, and I got a bunch of books for my kids. I got a little something for myself as well and some STEM activities as well. So before I get into this video, I did want to let you know what the book outlet is. So if you are interested in purchasing books, activities, there's even toys on their website for a fraction of the price. I'm going on their website right now and I'm just going to read to you what they are, why the books are at such a discounted price. You can get books anywhere from 50 to 75% off. So whenever I'm looking to buy a book or activity for my kid, I always look at the book outlets because I will get it for a fraction of the price. I especially love buying books and activities from the book outlets because they're discounted. <laughs> Who wouldn't want a good discount? But they're good products as well. So whenever I'm shopping for board books, sound books, lift the flap books, I always check on the book outlet to see if they have those types of books on their website because I will save 50 to 75% off sometimes and the books are amazing still. They're in perfect, pretty much perfect condition. And I'm gonna read to you what they say on their website of why they have such discounted rates. So this is what they say on their website. And this is for Canadians and Americans. There's an American site and there's a Canadian site and I'll link it down below so you can take a look. So this is what they say on their website. Wondering how we manage those discounts? Here's our secret. Our books are marked down because most of them are marked with a small line or dot on the edge by publishers who sell us their returns and excess inventory. The books we sell are new, unread, and in good condition. And honestly, I can vouch for that. I've been using the book outlet for years now and basically almost all my books are from the book outlet because they're discounted, why not, <laughs> right? So I usually get my books from the book outlets. I have never had a problem with any of the books. So I definitely recommend the book outlet if you're looking for books at a discounted price. Let's get to a disclaimer here. You gotta hold this mama back when she goes on the bookoutlet.com because she wants to buy everything or not hold me back, maybe hold my credit card back, but you know what I'm saying. There is a lot of discounts there, but about two to three times a year, I do do a huge kind of haul just to refresh our books because can you ever have too many books? Maybe, no, I don't know, but I love books and I don't know if because I'm a homeschool mom or it's because I'm a mom and I have kids and kids love books, we love literature. Check on the description to see the timestamps. So if you wanna skip through parts of this video, maybe you only have a toddler and you wanna to skip to the toddler, toddler books, then you could just check out the timestamps. I'll try to put that down in the description. So let's get into the book haul. I got books for my seven-year-old. I got books for my two-year-old and also for my baby. I got a little something for me and then I got some STEM uh, toys. So let's get into this haul. Okay, so let's start with the books that I got for all ages. So these are books that I'm gonna be using for my two-year-old, but also for my seven-year-old. So the first book that I picked up is this spring book. I have all the other season of books uh, by David A. Carter, and I love these books. They are pop-up books. So I like taking out these books when we start a new season, and I have all of them. Let me show you the other ones that I have. Last year, I picked up the autumn one, I picked up the winter one and the summer one, but they didn't have the spring one. So when I was on the book outlet a couple of weeks ago, I picked up this spring one to add to our collection, and it's a pop-up book. I love this book, it's so beautiful. So many pop-ups, 
The kids love pop-up books, so I love them too. I do not let my toddler get his hands on these because he will rip it, but when we're reading together, it's really nice and we can learn about spring and just really nice to add to our collection. So I have all of them, so I added the spring one to our collection, so I'm excited about that. Another book that I got is Who Said Moo? And this is actually uh, lift the flap book as well. So just another picture book. My kids love learning about different animals and so this is for both my boys. Another book that we got was Old Mech Dino Had a Farm. My kids love dinosaurs so you will notice that I have quite a bit of books uh, that have dinosaurs in them because they're boys, they love dinosaurs. <laughs> they love it. So it's just a twist on Old McDonald Had a Farm and I've actually already read this book to um, Nicholas and Michael and it's gonna be a favorite. It's so funny and the kids just loved it. So a nice twist on Old MacDonald Had a Farm. Another book that I picked up for both of my boys is What Kind of Car Does a T-Rex Drive? Kids are gonna love this book. My sons love dinosaurs but they also love cars. So add the two together and you have a perfect <laughs> book. So this is gonna be a fun book for us to add to our collection, our dinosaur collection. So this is gonna be nice for us to read together. So those are the books that I got for both my boys that they will equally love. Let's get into the books that I got for my seven-year-old. The first book that I got is The Holy Bible, but the International Children's Bible. Nicholas is in a stage where he's starting to read now, and this um, Bible has simple language, like it's a simple one. I feel like he'll be able to read it. And a couple of weeks ago, he was in his Sabbath school class and he actually read from this Bible and he told me, mommy, can I get a Bible like that that I can actually read? Not something so hard. He has a New King James Version one. I believe we have like the, the NIV one as well, but we don't have one like this. So I was like, you know what, I'm gonna pick it up. And there's pictures in here and it's very easy for him to read. I'm going to add this to our morning basket. So it's gonna be nice for him to read this and an opportunity for him to you know, practice his reading, but also connect with God. Another book that I got for Nicholas is Flags of the World. So for geography, we've actually been learning about different countries, their flags, their culture, food. We've been really diving deep into different countries. So when I saw this book, I thought it would be perfect for us. Let's just suppose we're learning about Canada. We can find the Canadian flag, talk about the flag. We usually color the flag um, and it's nice just to have it in a book form instead of like going online and you know seeing it there. I love having books like you could touch. <laughs> so much things we do is online right now so it's kind of nice to have a book. So I just get the book, we can talk about the flag and also there's a little bit of a description about Canada and we can learn a little bit of facts about Canada or whatever country we're learning about. So I thought this would be a wonderful book for us to add to our collection. Another book that I got for my son is Bible Force, The First Heroes Devotional. We go through a lot of devotionals in a year. I always read to them in the morning a devotional, but also at night. So I thought this was nice because it's talking about heroes in the Bible and um, it looks really, really nice. Like I think that Nicholas is going to enjoy uh, reading this. It's almost like a little spin on superheroes. So this is going to be a nice one to add to our devotional collection because I do have a collection of devotionals and I like devotionals because we can read it and then in a couple of years we can go back to the same devotional. I think that Nicholas is really going to love this so we'll see. Another book that I got for Nicholas is Canada for Kids, A Thousand Awesome Facts biggest, smallest, coolest, hottest, wildest, weirdest, best, worst, and way more. This is gonna be nice. It's, it's from the Canadian Geographic, and it's a pretty colorful book, and it goes around Canada, and it talks about different facts about Canada, people, sports and leisure, transportation, innovations, communications. Nicholas loves this stuff. So when I saw this, I was like, this is gonna be cool. I'm gonna add this to our morning basket as well. Another book that I got for Nicholas is Fact or Fib, a challenging game of true or false. Now, I thought this was really cool because Nicholas loves talking about different facts and uh, how, how this book works. So basically, it'll tell you a fact or a fib. So for example, this one, it says, gorillas spend most of their days searching the jungle for other animals to eat. Is that a fact or a fib? And then it'll, on the other side, it'll tell you if it's a fib or a fact. I thought that was so 
cute and fun to do so I'm gonna add this to our morning basket as well and Nicholas is gonna love this it's colorful I feel like it's just right up Nicholas's alley when it comes to books so he's gonna love this one last book that I got for Nicholas this is actually an activity book it's called color cut create paper toy dinosaur world and it has over 70 paper toys props and play sets and basically uh, Nicholas can cut this out and he can um, I guess making different dinosaurs he has to cut and glue and he can make his own like paper toy creations Nicholas loves this kind of stuff. I'm hoping he likes this. I think he will. This seems pretty, pretty cool. So I picked this up as well. So let's get into the toddler books that I got for Michael. Usually for Michael, I usually stick with board books, lift the flap books, sound books, touch and feel books because he's the toddler. So these are the books that I picked up for him. The first book that I picked up for Michael was Count 1 to 10, pop-up book by Keys Morbeek. I'm not sure, I probably butchered that name. Uh, but anyways, it's a pop-up book and look at it, it's so cool. It has like pop-ups uh, to do with numbers and Nick Michael is in the process of learning his numbers. He knows how to count up until like 13 or 14, uh, but he's learning how to identify his numbers. He's almost there up to 10. I think he mixes up seven and one sometimes, but he's, you know, he's learning. And this is a fun way for your child to identify numbers. So he's gonna love this. But I got that one for Michael. I also got Making Faces, a first book of emotions. Michael loves talking about emotions. Part of our morning basket time, we always talk about how we're feeling, just to set the mood for the day. We talk about different you know, scenarios that can make you feel happy, sad, angry, and this is perfect for him. It's a board book, but at the end of the board book, there is also um, a mirror inside. I haven't taken out the film yet, but this is really nice. He's gonna love this. He loves talking about emotions, so this is a perfect book for him, and it's a board book, so he's not gonna rip it. Um, he can look at the different faces and um, yeah, I love it. I love that there's like a little mirror in the um, in here as well. That's really nice. The next book that I got for Michael, this is called Peek Abu Teddy. And basically it has this little bear up here that's magnetic and it's almost like he's playing peekaboo. <laughs> this is so cute. And there's a lift the flap, it's like a lift the flap kind of book. And oh, he's gonna love this. He's gonna love this. And he can play with the teddy bear as well. Very interactive. This will keep him busy. I love it. Cute. And I forgot to mention that the books, I can't necessarily tell what's wrong with the books. I've noticed that through the years that I've been buying book outlets, I can't tell what's wrong with the books. Um, maybe there's like sometimes a little dent on it, like this one. Okay, there, there's like a look of maybe a little dent there. Maybe that's it. I don't know if I did that or it came, but maybe that's what they're talking about a little dent, but I don't care. I prefer getting 75% off a book with a little dent. But anyways, just so you guys can kind of know, you know, I don't, I don't usually see what's wrong with the books, so I'm okay with it. <laughs> the next book that I got is this Animal Magnets book, my first book of magnets, and I definitely recommend if you're looking for books for your toddler to get books that incorporate magnets. There's different scenes in here, and you can take the magnets and, you know, put them on the different scenes. Oh, this is gonna be a lot of fun for Michael. I have the dinosaur one, that's why I decided to get the animal ones, and I can actually put this on a toddler busy bin. If you haven't watched my toddler busy bin videos, make sure to check it out. I'll link it here and I'll link it down below as well. And you can check it out because I usually love putting magnets or anything fun and interactive uh, for my child when it comes to adding books to toddler busy bins. And this is definitely gonna go into a toddler busy bin in the future. So make sure to check out my themed toddler busy bins if you haven't checked them out yet. Another book that I got for Michael is this Listen and Learn ABC. And this is perfect for him. He loves sound books. He just pressed, you know, the corresponding letter. A is for Apple. That's so, he loves books like this. So we can go over the different um, letters and name the different things that start with that letter. So this is gonna be perfect for him and it goes all the way up to Z and in the end, it'll sing all the ABCs. There's like a little music button here and it'll sing all the ABCs. I definitely recommend this. All my sound books that I've gotten are amazing from the book outlet. So definitely recommend sound books for toddlers. So here is another magnetic book and it's called Muddle Zoo, and you just open it up, and there's different scenes, and there is the uh, magnets in here, and they can just uh, put the different animals in the different scenes. This is nice. 
I definitely recommend Magnet Books, guys. It's so much fun. It keeps your toddler entertained and um, they love it. So this is another fun one that Michael is going to definitely enjoy. Another book that I got for Michael is this Search and Find Counting. And basically it comes with a dry erase marker and we have to find the different animals in the different scenes and he has to circle them. Um, probably he wouldn't be able to do it alone, but this is something that I can do with him just so I can spend some time with him. It's a board book. It's the, you know, it has the dry erase marker that comes with it. I like this, he's gonna love this. Another book that I got is this Touch, my first touch and feel sound book, Noisy Dinosaurs. Dinosaurs, again. I'm gonna be making new toddler busy bins to add to my existing ones that I already have. And this is gonna be perfect to go in there. So that's why I got it. And you could just press the sound. And you can hear the dinosaur. Um, and there's like a pterodactyl and there's like a, like, you can touch and you can feel as well. This is nice. He's, he's gonna love this. Yeah, that, this is nice. And it's a board book, super easy for him to um, flip through the books, hear the sounds, touch and feel, and it keeps him entertained and he loves dinosaurs, so win-win. <laughs> the last book that I got for him is this Five Little Monkeys book, and it has like the five little monkeys here. Oh, this is so cute. He's gonna love this. It has the five little monkeys, it's a board book, and it's also a sound book, so. Five little monkeys jumping on the bed, one fell off and bumped his head, on the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. That's so He's gonna love this book. This is nice. So I'm actually thinking of doing like a monkey toddler bin because I have a lot of monkey stuff. So I would definitely put this in his toddler busy bin. He loves sound books. So if you don't have sound books for your toddler, trust me, they are amazing. Okay, now let's go into what I got my baby girl. Yes, I got some books for my baby girl. And the first thing that I got is this baby rattle book. How cute, look at this. This is so cute. <laughs> so basically, uh, this one's a pet's one, so it'll have a little board book over here and she can bite this as well. It's, I feel like it's safe for that. And I'll open one up. And this is a colors one, so you could just, she could play with it as a rattle, but there's also the different colors that we can talk about, it's nice. My baby's almost eight months old, so this is nice. I feel like she's gonna really like this. She likes grabbing board books <laughs> anyways and putting it on in her mouth, and this seems like it's a good material for her to kind of like, you know, bite. And uh, she's gonna love this, she's gonna love this. I wanted a little something for her too, so I got these at the book outlet. I love it, <laughs> so cute. Another book that I got for my little girl is Out and About Flashcards Journey. So let me open this. So same thing, it has little flashcards, it comes in a little ring here, and just another little book for her. It's nice at an early age to even start talking about different, you know, uh, objects that you see, different things that you see around, you know, the world. She is going to love this, this is awesome. And the last thing I got is these um, board books, but they're touch and feel board books. And uh, there's four of them that came in here. It's a dinosaur one, a spider one, a panda one, and a shark one. And um, each page has like a different texture and we can read. It's a, board, it's a board book, so we can read about it. I even think Michael will actually like this book. Yeah, he's gonna love this book too. So baby and my toddler, for sure. They're gonna love this. So I'm definitely gonna be reading these stories to them. And because it's touch and feel, I'm sure they're going to love it. So now let's go into STEM activities. I got two different activities, and one of them is for my seven-year-old, and the other one is for my two-year-old. Let's start with what I got for my two-year-old. I got this um, bug builders activity, and basically it's like almost like little cubes that you put together and you build different bugs. Michael has already got his hands on this and he loves it. He loves it already. He always asks me, mommy, let's make, let's make the different bugs. And obviously I do have to do this with him. He can't do it by himself. That's totally fine. Uh, it's a nice activity that I can do with him. It's, it's recommended for ages three and up, but I just keep an eye on him and we build it together. So he's been 
he's been loving this so far. And for Nicholas, I got this Lego dinosaur set. Yes, dinosaurs. <laughs> so I got these uh, these Lego sets, um, and it came in five boxes. Nicholas already got his hands on another one. He's already built three of them. These days, Nicholas has been waking up super early. Since he's waking up super early and my schedule has been all over the place because I have a baby and she controls my schedule, usually in the morning I'll leave him an activity on the kitchen island. This will keep him entertained for hours. So he usually builds one <laughs> or he'll build multiple ones. These are three in one set so he can build multiple different um, dinosaurs and different I think there's even like, they can build like cars and stuff with this. Anyways, there's an instruction manual in it and he just follows along and it's for ages six and up. Legos and dinosaurs, you can't go wrong. And the last thing that I got for myself, I actually got myself a little something. They actually even have like, um, I got these little notes and basically it has like somewhere you can take notes. They have sticky notes. And I got a little something for myself. It was at a discounted price, and it comes in this little um, this little set. Um, I love it. So I got it for myself. I just treated myself for something. There's definitely different things on the book outlets, and I would definitely recommend you take a look because there's so much there. I'll leave the link down below for the book outlets for my American friends and also for my Canadian friends. Okay, guys, that concludes this huge book haul. What did you guys think? I feel like I got some great finds here. I'm excited to read these books with my kids for them to continue playing with the activities. I would definitely recommend that you check out the book outlets if you're looking for books, activities. They have even notebooks. Uh, check it out first before you end up purchasing something from Amazon or any bookstore. Maybe you can get it for a discounted price. If you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below any books that you have been loving recently and make sure to subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching guys. Bye.